Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you are new here today. So today's video is going to be all over the place, just a fair warning. <laughs> um, I started filming a vlog yesterday and I deleted so much footage on accident. I was deleting footage from what I thought was from my bedroom like declutter video and I deleted all the footage from yesterday. A lot of it. I only had a few clips from yesterday so I figured I'd just throw those into this video. <clears throat> but I also had a grocery haul I wanted to share, so I'm going to share a grocery haul with you. Um, but I just wanted to hop on and say hello. It's been a while since I filmed a vlog and posted a video. It's been a week, which for me, a week is a long time to not post a video. I have posted at least a video um, every week or, you know, two to three for the longest time. So not posting has been really weird. I feel bad that I left a lot of y'all hanging and not like kind of updated here on YouTube. I have been updating on Instagram, so a lot of you know everything's been fine. I've just been focused on decluttering my house and I am almost at the finish line. <laughs> I just have to finish my kitchen and my shed and I'm done. And I have gotten rid of a ton of stuff. So, a um, quick little update, like I said, I was working on decluttering and then I went and got my cover-up tattoo that I've wanted for so, so long. I don't know if y'all remember, but I had my, I'm sure you remember, I had my kids' names tattooed on my arm and it was supposed to be my mom's handwriting, but the experience was not good and it didn't end up really necessarily being my mom's handwriting. It was just not what I had originally had in mind. I should have walked out of the tattoo shop, but I didn't. I went ahead and got it and yeah, I wanted to get a cover up. So I ended up getting it done finally. It's in that healing stage right now, so I don't want to show you guys up too close. It's peeling really bad. It's been about a week since I got it. Uh, actually, today is one week since I got it. Um, and yeah, it looks really bad up close. <laughs> um, but I plan on getting more added to it, and whenever it's completely done, I might go more into depth on why I got what I got and all that. But right now, that's that's what I got. So. It's really pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm so, so happy with it. And the experience was way better. And I'm just proud of myself for finally doing it. I've wanted to do it for so long and I just kept putting it off. Um, so yeah, I finally made the time and I did something for me. So that made me happy. Anyway, um, I also got, um, what else did I want to share with you guys today? I'm trying to think all the things. I have a lot going on right now. Um, and, oh, I was going to tell you, I stopped vlogging for a little bit. Did y'all pop all those already? Y'all want more water balloons? Okay. Let me fill up some water balloons real quick. Okay. So they're playing with water balloons, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm standing here. Um, they like to play right here on the patio and I filled them up some water balloons, but this time instead of them popping them, I was like, why don't y'all pretend it's a baby and don't let it break? <laughs> um, so that's what they're doing now. It's, it's kind of funny. Caden's like being all careful. Um, but I don't remember what I was going to say. I do want to show you guys the grocery haul really quick and um, then I'll hop on later. I'll share the footage that I do have. And then, like I said, I might hop on later and um, just pick up where I left off. Want to be the person that you call up when you're down? Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets? Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back, yeah, you can count on me for that um, the total was $161, and I believe I have about nine dinners here, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, over here, we got some ground beef chuck. This is five pounds here, so make five dinners. I have some beef smoked sausages. I will cut these up and add them with some rice. This is the rice that we usually use. It's so good. Um, and then I have this slow-roasted rotisserie flavor pork tenderloin. That was only $5.12, so super, super cheap for that. And then I got some chicken drums that we'll make two dinners out of. I want to try these in the air fryer, so that's why I got those. I also got some little, what are these, hash brown patties to try in the air fryer. Some sausages. Some waffles here. Bisquick. Some syrup. This is my favorite kind. I also grabbed some coffee creamer and some milk. Yes, baby. 
All right, so anyway, moving on, I got a Tony's pizza here. Um, I got a bunch of Lunchables. The kids just love these for lunch, so I don't mind them having them. I got four pepperoni and four ham and Mer American cheese. And we seen on this YouTube video Dylan and I did where they made a pizza out of like some garlic bread like this. So we're going to try to make our own little like pizza bites. Uh, we'll try it out and see how it goes. I'll keep y'all updated on that. I'm excited to try that though. So we got all the ingredients for that, the cheese, sauce, and pepperoni. And then back here we got some Capri Sun waters. I got two cases of those just in a different flavor. So Uncrustables, some chicken breast tenders. Um, these are the gluten-free ones. Honestly, we can't tell the difference, so I just buy those. Figured, why not? <laughs> They're probably a little healthier. Um, and then I got some Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper for Dylan. A big roll of toilet paper because y'all know toilet paper is getting uh, out of stock. And then I grabbed this huge pack, well not huge, it's not that big, <laughs> but it's an 18 pack of the microfiber dishcloths. Mine somehow disappear. I don't know where they go, so I just grabbed a new pack, um, and there's 18 in here, so I'm sure I'll be able to hold on to these for a little bit. I also grabbed some plastic wrap just to wrap like leftovers and stuff quickly. I don't mind using aluminum foil, but I hate the way it looks in my fridge, so I wanted to see how this does better. I do have plastic containers, by the way, but I just, I don't know, sometimes it's just faster just to wrap some plastic wrap around your food. Anyway, um, I got some Gatorades for Dylan for work to take with him. I got some new coffee. If y'all seen my last video, I talked about how my coffee was tasting funny. So I cleaned out my coffee maker and then I bought this to try it out and see how it, how it tastes. I also got some lemons some spaghetti sauce and then over here are the noodles to go with that. I got some potatoes, some hamburger buns to make hamburgers one night. Anyway, I got some grapefruit, red apples, grapes, bananas, I think I said the lemons already, and then I got a bag of ice. So, oh and a case of waters, I got a huge case of waters as well. You used to touch, I used to drink we used to say you're the prettiest I've ever seen so long ago, before it all went down in flames. We were harder than it would be. How could we know that it was so wrong? We've been out of love yet for so long. Yeah, how could we know that it was all done? Yeah, now here we are and we are long gone. Live fast and die young. So now that you've seen the grocery haul, I wanted to just go ahead and let you know that I do put all my meal plan in the description box. So that way you have a place to go if you need some dinner ideas. I do that in all my grocery hauls um, just to kind of help you guys out. So I will make sure to do that for this video as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get busy and I'll talk to you guys in just a little bit. Hey y'all, so it's been about two to three hours since last time I picked up the camera. I have been going nonstop. Now yes. We're fixing to go outside. We sure are. Give me one minute. Go get some socks. Go find your socks. They're in your drawer. Top drawer of your dresser. Um, but I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys like all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. It looks like we're moving out. So if you want to see the entire decluttering process on all this stuff, make sure you come over to um, Cleaning with Carrie, my other YouTube channel, so you can see all of it. It's crazy. But let me go ahead and show you. Y'all look at this. It is insane all the stuff that I found in the closets and all that that is going. 
donation or I don't know we're gonna figure it out but all of it's got to go it's so exciting <laughs> I cannot wait to finish my kitchen my shed and everything else in the house so yay y'all I got my shampooer in I'm super excited I also got the fabric shaver and it does not work so that stinks but it's okay I'm gonna unbox this put it together really quick um, I think all I have to do is just put that on top of there and that's it. So, um, and then I'm going to try it out. Okay. So this is the first time I've ever tried this Hoover, um, shampooer, obviously I just got it, <laughs> but it works really good so far. I really like it. It is, um, kind of bulky and big, but I really do think it cleans really good. Y'all should have seen how disgusting the water was. It's honestly mind blowing. Like I thought this rug just had a couple stains, you know, but the amount of like black dirtiness that came out of this rug really blew my mind. So now I got to work on all the other rugs, but I just wanted to let you know that so far I really do like it. Um, but I just got to figure it out a little bit better. Now that I got this vlog kind of going back in order again, um, I feel a lot better because I was getting stressed out. Like I like had this whole idea to give you like a little life update and let y'all know that I was okay and I was planning on posting this be uh, on Friday and um, I didn't get to. <laughs> I didn't. My plan was to post it on Friday and I just I'm behind. I don't know if I'll be able to get it up or not. I might, but who knows? Anyway, um, so. Earlier, I was talking about how I stopped vlogging for a while, and then the kids came in and wanted me to fill up their balloons, so I got sidetracked. I wanted to quickly touch on that. So I quit vlogging for a while, um, mainly just because I needed to kind of like refocus my YouTube channel in the direction that I really wanted it to go in, which is more targeted towards the budget-friendly makeovers and DIYs. And um, in between of those videos, I have always done a grocery haul, some type of um, vlog or shop with me or like a chit, um, chit chat style video and I love doing those and I don't think I'll ever quit doing them. I'm just trying to focus more on the things I'm more passionate about, work on those and then film those when I have time. So those will be in between videos when I have a chance versus trying to overwhelm myself with so much work. Like time is flying. My kids are going so fast. This is probably the last year that I'll have both of them home with me and they won't be in school. And well, obviously Amaya's homeschooled, so I'm able to be with her still. It's just, they're growing so quick and I want to focus my time more on them and my family instead of filming and feeling like I'm working every single day. The whole point in me being a stay at home mom is to be a stay at home mom. Um, and I'm so grateful that I'm able to be home with my kids. So I really want to, you know, make sure I focus on that and spend as much time with them as I possibly can and give them a lot more attention and not worry so much about videos. So that's what I've been doing over the past couple months or past like month or two months, I think it's been that I've kind of slowly but surely stopped posting so much. And, um, I feel like I'm starting to get in a routine some way oh, I thought I was and then all of a sudden I decided you know what I'm gonna declutter my whole house <laughs> and that threw me off because then I didn't film anything because I was so focused on getting that done that I decided to just take a break from doing makeovers and decorating so then I had no videos filmed this week and then I got behind but you know it happens so I'm okay with it I hope y'all are as well but I just wanted to let y'all know I was okay I hate I don't hate it but I hate's a strong word I just don't like it when like, like my favorite YouTubers just disappear off YouTube for like a week at a time and I'm like, where did they go? <laughs> Are they okay? And unless they come on and share with us like how they're doing, we don't know, you know? So I wanted to just update y'all, let you know I'm okay. For those who have reached out and asked and left comments saying, when's your next upload? I appreciate all of y'all caring so much. But anyway, I'm fine. I'm just trying to, you know, focus on one thing at a time and not overwhelm myself and I feel like I was filming so much like a grocery haul then a vlog and then a DIY and the DIYs take a couple days 
So now instead of working on vlogs, I've just been focusing that time on my family and um, even a couple grocery hauls I missed. But on this per that per this particular vlog that you see in that grocery haul, um, I got the groceries delivered early that morning, so it just made sense to quickly film it and get it out of the way. And then that was it. That's all I filmed that whole day was just the grocery haul. But it was only like three to four minutes long, so it wasn't long enough to make on by itself. Usually I try to make my videos 10 minutes or longer. Um, and that one was like only like six minutes long, so I didn't want to post it by itself. And I figured I would just throw it into a vlog eventually. So, yeah. That's it. Nothing crazy has been going on. I'm a super basic person. I'm not like extravagant. I don't do anything super fancy. But yeah, for those who have been wondering, oh, and then a lot of you are wondering if we're moving because I'm like decluttering the whole house and no, we're not moving. I promise. I would definitely tell you guys if I plan on moving. I mean, of course I want to move eventually and have a bigger yard. That's like my biggest thing. I just want a bigger yard. But right now um, we are not moving anytime soon. I just want to make this house more enjoyable it's it's small and it felt like it was getting really small whenever everything was cluttering up all the closets so I just wanted to wipe everything out and go through it oh and that's it that's that's the only reason it's not because we're moving I just want to make my life easier so and so far so good it's been two days since I decluttered and um, it feels absolutely amazing it really does to have a clean house even when it's not clean like we don't we have such minimal stuff now that even if the kids like pulled out all their toys, it still wouldn't be as bad as it was a week ago. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to eat a snack. I'm hungry um, and I got to figure out what we're having for dinner tonight. So I might as well share that with you guys. If y'all are interested, keep watching. All right, but look at how pretty these flowers are. They're so pretty. My husband um, had these delivered for me and I love them. I've never had flowers delivered to my door before. Like obviously he's bought me flowers throughout the years, but um, the guy pulled up today while I was blowing off the patio and he was like in a mom van, well a dad van or a mom van, and it had like no logo so I didn't realize he was delivering something. I, I didn't know who he was. I was thinking okay maybe he just got to the wrong address. But then he pulled out these beautiful flowers and was like Miss Carrie and I said yes sir. He goes these are from your husband and he wanted to wish you a happy Valentine's Day and I was like oh my gosh and I haven't told him that I got him yet. I wanted to thank him in person so I cannot wait for him to get home from work. So we're having some quiet time right now. Amaya's coloring a picture and Caden's taking a shower. I needed to separate them for a little bit. They were getting a little rowdy. So I did that, but I wanted to show you guys real quick. So I switched the island back this way and y'all see the pool. <laughs> we have the pool tipped up because we are cleaning it out. It needs to be cleaned out. So we're doing that, but I really do like the island better switch this way. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here. I decided that we we're just going to make some salmon really quick in the air fryer. And all I really do is just season it and throw it in there and cook it for however long it takes to get done. I'm still learning the air fryer, so I don't want to like share the recipe with you guys. And then y'all salmon turn out dry and overcooked because that's how ours turned out last time. <laughs> but um, Dylan and I are going to have salmon and the kids are just going to have some chicken tenders with some fruit. And we're going to have some vegetables on the side too. But... Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching so much. I hope y'all have an amazing night and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all. I waited all my life for someone like you to show. Now that you're mine, it's so hard to take things slow.